Another busy day at Steamers Lane along West Cliff and Santa Cruz as Otter Watch continues for another day. People from all over fought for their spot along the railing to try and get a glimpse of the surfing sea otter, a fun sight for locals. It's so cool to like be here and experience that. I mean, you talk to people that have lived here forever and they don't get to see all this happen. So it's such a cool thing to be here right now experiencing this. and having it be national news. Yes, Otter 841, as she's known, has been quite the attention getter for those surfing the internet, seeing her surfing the waves in the viral pictures. It's almost difficult to believe sort of Otter riding a surfboard, <laughs> so I, I kind of believe you, but I need to go and see it for myself. Um, yeah, so yeah, fascinating. So, uh, sounds crazy, makes you wonder, wonder how it's so um, domesticated, I suppose. That's the exact question that the California Department of Fish and Wildlife is trying to answer. They had a team out in a boat Tuesday for a short period of time as the otter seemed to evade capture for yet another day. It appeared to be much to her liking. The sea otter was born in an animal care facility and released into the wild more than a year before interactions with people began last September. The CDFW says it could take days, even weeks, to successfully capture her to study her aggressive, board biting behavior and be rehomed in a zoo or an aquarium. People who came to see 841 Live are split on their thoughts of what should be done with her. We cannot take a species out of its natural environment. Of course, you have to investigate why it's happening, but we already know why. So I'm protesting its capture. I feel it's unfair. Personally, I really think that they do need to capture her. I think it's really important for her to be, for her safety, um, to know what's going on with her health. Crews say they will remain out here until she is brought in, but they may suspend efforts if the aggressive behavior stops. Until then, Otter Watch continues. In Santa Cruz, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.